Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. Today we are going to learn about state machine guessing game. So here, this is our next video of a state machine. So if you are going to watch this video, so first if you watch my first video of UI path state machine, so then you will be an, uh, able to understand this one also. So first, I will ask you to please watch that video that is UI path state machine. I have told about theory and all these things from starting to end. And then if you uh, watch this video, then you, you will able to understand this topic and you will able to automate this guessing game also. So I'm going to start here. So we'll take one example that is guessing game, guessing number game using a state machine. First we'll generate the random number and that will show like 5, 10, 15, 20 based on the given range. So if we'll ask UI path to generate random number between 1 to 50 then uh, it can generate the number like 4, 5, 10, 15, 45 like that. And then we'll ask player to enter the guess number. So first we'll generate the number and then second we'll ask user or player to enter the guess number. And then we'll compare both number. So first we'll check if the number is if user has it means player has passed the bigger number and that is not matching with the random number then we'll ask player to try a smaller a smaller number. And second next is try bigger number. So if user is passing a smaller number and the random number is bigger then we'll ask user to try bigger number and if user is passing correct number it means we'll show the message box like uh, you won the game or you guessed correctly so we'll start here first I will show you how it works and what is guessing number game so let me show you the uh, demo I have already created here so here if you see we have taken initialize for the random number then guessing guessing number and then final state and we have three condition try bigger try smaller and correct guess so let me run this first so here you can see it is showing that enter guess number enter number between 1 to 100 so here first I am uh, I as a player I am passing here 50 it means my guessing number is 50 so might be uh, what will happen here it will check with the random number so i don't know that what is the random number but here i am passing might be it is correct so if it is correct it means i won the game so let me try here so here it's showing your guess number is too small it means i am just passing 50 it means i will have to enter more than 50 so i am going going to type here 80 so now here showing your guess is too big it means now I have to enter 70 now again it's big then 65 this is also big 55 this is too small it means 60 so congratulations you guessed correctly the number was 60 so what happened the random number was 60 and here after two many tries I have entered 60 and now I won the game so game finished so I'm going to show you how to do that here so first we'll take one state machine from the new file here and now i will put the name of that guessing number game this is just a name you can pass anything so now here uh, as per the game requirements we need two things one for the generate the random number second for we'll ask user to enter the number so we'll we need two things and then so first we'll take one state activity and that will be our initial number initial state and second is for the ask user to pass the number and this is for generate the number and then we'll take last final state so that after and this workflow will be ended and the game will be end right so first here we'll change the name that uh, generate a random number or we can write like initial initialize value something so here we have to write one vb expression to generate the number so if we'll 
here we'll take one variable and that will be integer so we'll go here in the variable section and we'll change the variable type uh, that will be 32 integer 32 right and here we can change the scope from guessing random number to guessing this type to the complete here and now here we'll pass the expression that is that is our function there is a function to generate the number random number that is called random function so for that we need to write here new and then random so here this is a function open bracket close bracket dot next open bracket here you will see function random dot next max value as integer so either we can write here maximum value or we can start with the comma it means minimum value here you can see mean value as integer comma max value as integer so here i am uh, uh, no, putting here to generate the number between 1 to 50 so what will happen the random number will be generated one by one whenever we will run our uh, workflow that will generate the number with in given a specific array it means from 1 to 50 so it could generate 35 45 like that so first now we have the random number and the second thing we need a guess number from the player we'll take one input dialog box so that user can pass the value here so we'll take input dialog box and here we'll write enter guess number and here we'll write please enter any number between 1 to 50 so here we are s you are asking user to enter the number between 1 to 50 only right and then here we'll take one variable that is guess number and that will be integer 32 also and we are not going to you know write anything in the condition because this is not required so you can leave it blank you can leave it all these things also in the exit section you can leave it here also now we, uh, we have three conditions first we are uh, taking correct number it means it if correct guess then in the condition we'll write here if guess number equal to random number so if guess number equal to random number then we'll take one message box and we'll write here your guess number is correct you won the game you won the game right and the next one is we need one another transition and for that we'll connect from here to here and that will be try smaller so here we'll say so we'll take here if our guess number is greater than a random number so if user is passing 5 and the uh, random number is three it means our number is greater than we'll ask user to enter the smaller number so here we'll take one message box we'll say your your guessing number is bigger please try smaller and now here another we'll take one another one another transition and here we'll write try bigger so 
if our random number is bigger and our guess number is small then we'll write here we'll show the message the please enter bigger number so if guessing number is less than a random number which means user is passing 5 and the random number is equal to t is 10 then we'll ask user to enter bigger number so here we'll take one message box and here we'll write your guess number is too small try bigger right and uh, and after that if it is correct then here we'll write game finished thank you for playing the game it means here if you are writing random number now you can see here this is the expression to generate the random number new random dot next 1 to 50 so next 1 to 50 means it will generate the number uh, within a specified range so if we will change the number then it, it can it could generate the number between 1 to 100 also 1 to 200 also so this is the random function using this you can generate the number now here you can see the next one is it is going to the state we will ask the user to guess uh, to enter the number that is guess number if it is correct then it will go to the final state uh, this is done we can run here I am going to type here 45 so here we are getting message that your guessing number is bigger try smaller so that now we'll write here 40 so it is still bigger then we'll pass here 30 still bigger then 20 still bigger then 10 too small now we'll type here something bigger 15 so now it's showing your guess number is bigger try smaller so now we'll type here 13 so here showing your guess number is correct you won the game right game finished thank you for playing the game so what was happened here initial num initialized number was 13 it means the random number was 13 and then we asked users to pass the number so after so many tries user had passed 13 so here in the correct guess we have written a condition like guess number equal to random number that then we'll show the message your guess number is correct you won the game right so by this way you can create this type of guessing number game in a state machine so i hope you understand this one how to use a state machine and how to use two three state state activity one final state and more than one transition here so first i will recommend you to please watch my first video that is ui path state machine and then watch this then you will be able to understand this one very easily i will put that video link in the description part so that you can see so thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video if you have not subscribed my channel please subscribe if you like my video please like please please press the like button or if you have any question comment please comment in my video or you can send me on mail thank you so much friends thank you for watching this video